beautiful people. It is Saturday. Fuck. Hold on, it's, it's turning on right now. August 10th, this is the first day of the powerlifting prep series. I have been prepping already like weeks before, starting to rehabilitate my strength. We're pretty much gonna get back onto a diet. We're gonna kinda cool down my weight right now. I've been enjoying life too much. As you saw in the last video, I have just, I just messed up that one really bad. Um, so tomorrow, Sunday being August 11th, I'm gonna go ahead and send in my weight to the one and only Sam Redmond Fitness. I know I am beyond 195, possibly 198. Uh, I haven't weighed myself in like two weeks. Um, but with the way I've been doing it and the way I've been living right now, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. But it's okay. It is okay. In order to progress, you have to admit, have to admit your mistakes. That's the only way you can progress. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to progress. <laughs> Good morning. It is Sunday. Uh, Sam has asked me to give him my weigh in, which I'm quite nervous. At the same time, a little slightly embarrassed. Uh, of course, mind you, I did have some McDonald's like at 12 o'clock last night. A little bit of White Claw. Apparently, that is the biggest hype at the moment. And I also had In N Out yesterday. So just bear with me, everyone. Uh oh. Oh God, dude. So, 209. Two, you know what, let's double check that. Huh. Yeah, maybe that will lighten up the mood a bit. If I give you a diet, will you do it? I don't want to waste my time with one and have you not do it because you should be at 187. So that's one thing I always preach about uh, when people ask me about Sam. Uh, I really appreciate how honest uh, he is. Um, he doesn't sugarcoat anything because I mean, if you have someone essentially sugarcoat a lot of things, like say good job, good job consistently with no honest feedback, uh, then the person is always going to be under the impression that they're doing something right all the time. When reality, they're not always doing something right or appropriate or even like to its full extent or potential. And that's the one thing I always explain to people who ever ask me about Sam. They're like, well, how, how do you like Sam? How'd you meet Sam? This is about Sam. And he just doesn't sugarcoat anything. It, it, when you meet anyone like that, not even just, not even just a personal trainer, um, anyone, like your friends, family, if they have a hard time admitting their faults or have a hard time telling you honest feedback, I mean, it's hard to associate with them because you're never gonna know what you need to improve on. And because you don't ever expose yourself to that type of attitude, you're, gonna, you're not gonna take honest criticism well. Like you're gonna always be defensive about it. Yeah, Sam. Sam, 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 Sam is the man. Oh, look at this classic bodybuilder, dude. Okay, I'm fluffy right I'm now. We're both fluffy, dude. I'm freaking fluffy. What, what do you got? What do you got for me? Oh, man. You Your go. boy's first one. Had Hit to be wall. framed. Oh, definitely. I appreciate it, brother.
One thing I learned after today's workout is to never drink White Claw and eat McDonald's day before your one rep max day. Worst idea ever. What I have here is about six ounces of chicken. I got 100 grams of white rice in here, lettuce and spinach, which I'm kind of dreading because lettuce just bloats the hell out of us, you know, everyone. Essentially, I'm gonna be back dieting tomorrow. Today is August 11th. Sam has set me my uh, plan for the week. Nothing too crazy, nothing too strict. He's given me a good amount of options because your boy needs to hit 185 by November. Actually, before that, because I'm trying to practice my strength at that accustomed weight, 185. I'm not trying to keep uh, gaining strength at like 195 and then the time I actually cut 10 pounds within like four weeks or so, I'm losing strength at the same time. So it's like, it's counterintuitive, you know what I mean? So if I can hit 185, like as soon as possible, it would just make it easier or not easier, but I'll be more prepared by the day of competition. Yeah, shout out to Gio. As you see, he framed, or I think his uncle. I don't know what he does, but apparently he specializes in framing things. I hope it's not just putting things in picture frames. Um, other than that, there's really nothing else. It's first day, first uh, first video of powerlifting prep. I hope you guys are excited as I am, because I'm pretty excited. Uh, it's, I mean, November's gonna come like no other, you know? Like, like, like this guy. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces! Five for me.